Hello everyone, and welcome back to Altius Plays from 2.0. Uh oh! Psst. Where did you come from? Yes. Headshots with the sequencer are just OP, frankly. <laughs> I'm afraid that that jump was going to hurt when I landed. Um, yeah, we're playing Tron. We are activating data streams, trying to make our way around this resource hog infested sector, system, whatever we're in. Um, gaining permissions, we're gonna turn on those rings down there, whatever they do. And um, make our way out of this place. I'm trying to figure out why the Tron Legacy Program is being such a douchebag about everything. Um, and rescue this system from the uh, very naughty people who have taken it over. That hurt, so please don't do that again. I'm exclusively using the sequencer because it's the only weapon that I can basically keep throwing and uh, adjust my aim and basically wail upon a baddie with. Did you read this one? Probably not. Come on, with the solution, I've installed the AI and linked. Oh. Excuse me. Where's my. Thank you. That was correction on three. We missed number two. I've come up with the solution. I've installed the AI and linked the correction algorithms to the digitizing system, much like the method used in his lab. It's a little unstable at the moment due to all the legacy code, but I'll have it shored up in no time. That's, if there's legacy code, just leave it. Trust me. <laughs> Keep it running. Scheduled launch is not flexible. Do what must be done to get the. Okay. Basically, tough. Get yeah, do your job. Uh, even though that's now impossible because of previous people and their intentional um, obfuscation of their work. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a, a an optimization bit, a uh, little dude, but it wasn't. That's sad. Um, I'm ashamed. I'm not going to go to that. <laughs> like, five energy down. Who needs shelter? Jason Mraz or Jack Johnson? Let's play Jason Mraz or Jack Johnson. This was Who Needs Shelter by... I don't know. I was hoping you would tell me. Pretty sure it was one of those two, though. Let's go down here and see how assaulted we get. That looks very familiar. It's exactly the same as up here. One. What was that? Are you just resing in or were you collecting something? I don't like the fact that you you give them Are you hogging resources from now? That would be sweet. By the way. I know this is full of metaphors and all that sort of thing, but what what is the actual structure, you know, the physical structure of these places supposed to represent? I'm mildly confused. Not in uh not in a what's going on sort of way, just in a, a law sort of way. I'm not allowed, huh? Suit yourself. Hello? That sounded like someone appearing and trying to steal all the resources at the same time, huh? Well, moving on. No doubt we'll get ganked. And find them that way. The easiest way to find your enemy is to find the enemy. This level was rudely boring. <laughs> where's, where's all the good stuff? Nothing here? Not, in anything, not even anything on that side, look. Okay, well, moving on. Wong. Oh, now we're downstairs. Yeah. Kind of thought that would be behind me. Got him. How do you know you got him? Also, well done. Got him. <laughs> I love the fact that they did damage coming back. Honestly, that's probably the biggest sell point, selling point of the uh, the sequencer for me is that you can send out all these discs and they do damage coming back. Two build points added to version number. Don't like these noises. Can we use this? No. Once we've got all those permissions, we can probably go back. Have a look at all the other um, archive bins that we missed. I think I will do. On stream and everything. I mean, this is not a, a fast-paced get through it and move on to the next game sort of thing. This is a discover the discover the world sort of game. 
learn all about it. Hello. I see you up there. Pretty much guaranteed that if you find a stack of archive bins, you should climb them. For various reasons. In this case, optimization routines. I would rather optimize. We don't. There's not many of these around, actually. I'm thinking maybe. We, what if we optimize the drunken dims? And then bunged it on the. in the position of this. I like that idea. Finding a decent amount of these optimizers, to be fair. You go away, and then you go in, and then we've got. We've also got that triangle primitive a long time ago, and I'm not entirely sure what it does. Blaster. Oh. <laughs> How long has that been an option? It does use a lot of energy, though. So maybe it's not really an option. See how good this is. I don't like the fact that we have to hold it, but it seems that we're immune to it. It's on our side. <laughs> it, it's not hurting us. <laughs> it might not be the same thing. Uh, there is another permission to find anyway, so we'll have to go back in here and see what we can come up with. It's making some noises that m are making me slightly uncomfortable, and it's moving in a way that is making me even more uncomfortable. Ooh. Hello. No, okay, fine. Pretty sure that basically you have to uh, go all the way back. Nice of it to provide infinite energy. There's one more um, build point as well, which I have not heard. Normally you can hear them. I'm having a look up there. It's just a scattering of archives. I'm assuming that there's programs that can find those, because all the programs I've come across have been um, ground based. <laughs> Very much so. Except for that one guy in the archive, Stax, who had a transport of some description. That was fun. I appreciate him. He was helpful. Blue. There we go. This one? I appreciate that. Apart from the fact I have to go and... Okay. We will fill up. There's one nearby. Um, where's this final permission? <laughs> Please. I've yet to find that permission. About to find out what we discovered that we didn't understand. Power block. Boring. Not interested. Miss. Next. Move on. I'll hurry up. See, the transfer speed is almost exclusively just quality of life, you know? Uh, triangulate. Oh, keep this. Triangulate wasn't that great, right? The zoom in one? Yeah, I do. who cares? <laughs> Went to all that effort and now I realise that maybe we didn't need to. Um, there is missing... Missing permission. And we must find it. My pretties. Apparently our boy was... Busy during his little stay in the storeroom, he managed to configure an old game console and a terribly ancient modem to connect to networks and open knowing whom he communicated to with the contraption book. This was like just now, I think. Not buzzing at my phone. Um, well, I'm, I'm glad I found that. <laughs> he said. It's maybe one of those episodes where I just cut out the t interminable search for the final permission. <laughs> maybe it's on level one. We cannot do this. Correct. There's nothing in there. Correct. Hello. I do. Uh, I do appreciate to a certain extent the um, the way this game forces you to pay attention and explore to some extent. I also really hate it. <laughs> and uh, now we have to not die on the way back up again. We should save it whilst perched precariously on this. I'm very glad that Jet is not afraid of heights. We now open this one. Apologies for the sniffing. I've only just realised I'm doing it. Permission 1, Permission 8. But they were locked behind Permission 5, which is there. What is this place? <laughs> Who designed this permission system? Come on. There we go. Ready! Let's move on. Um, 
but even when it comes to you know just simple games where you have to match colors like um, bubble bubble and stuff like that I'm not gonna manage it I'm not gonna do it yeah, I can't um, so it's very frustrating when meaningful colors are not selected um, nice. yeah. Very loud, I apologize. I hope that wasn't too loud. Um, it's loud in my ears. Uh, literally on my end of the thing. Oh my god, that hurt like a lot. I didn't even notice. Uh, it's loud for me, for sure. But I'm hoping that it's not too loud for you lot. <laughs> or HP, please. Um. Okay, nothing. Uh, this is energy. It's health. We can just download health. <laughs> App, get install health. If it was only that easy, then we would do it all the time, wouldn't we? Um. Yeah, the, the, the intentional use of misleading colours is very annoying. And of course, it's not just me. Right? I'm not the only I'm not the only colorblind person in the world and my form of colorblindness is not the only one that exists right? stop hurting me this is not good enough for long distance stuffs yes oh what a shot mate don't even pretend that that was not outrageously good Whoa! I was dying and I didn't. Oh, why did we save it? On top of the thing, I think. Oh, man. We know this sucks. Oh, hello. Can we just, like, go down? Does this hurt? It doesn't hurt, but that's gonna. Okay. I'm stuck. <laughs> okay. Don't do that. Right here. Yep, don't do that. Cool, 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 cool. Jump, then move. Somehow you have air control. And there's no air here. That's the thing. How am I breathing? What am I made of? What's happening? How does this work? Alright, now we go downstairs. Turn the thing on, then go upstairs and get ganked by everything. I understand. By blue, blue baddies as well. Come on. At least when they're red, you know that it's, you know, actually bad guys. God. These guys just look like... These are fucks. This access node is offline and restricted. Illegal use of resources is punishable by immediate de-resolution. De-resolution and termination seem to be different things, don't you think? Am I wrong in this? Is this the the point of the game? De-resolution appears to be the actual deleting of the game, of the of the program, but um, termination is just, you know, you get stopped <laughs> until you're allowed to switch back on again. It sounds correct. That's what terminating a program is. You can run it again, but if you de-resolute, you resolve, you resolve do you resolve something? That sounds permanent. Painfully permanent. Uh oh. No, no baddies. Oh, you can't, you can't change weapon until they've all come back. That's very rude. Also, kind of understandable. Yeah. Yeah. You also can't use it as a block, by the way. Until they've all come back. I think there's bad dudes up there. Uh oh. Out. Out. Ooh, careful. Change weapons faster because it's very frustrating. 
That's it, the disc. Oh my god. I need to get it out and flick it around and all that crap. Just whip it out. Whip your disc out and start lobbing it at people. Just waving it around like you own the place, right? Oh, Christ. This is not what I wanted. Stop. Man, that's very rude. I took a few goes, but I think I've done it. Oh, hello. There's always more. Why is there always more? Oh, we managed it. Well done, you me. Why did... Is it really you? Are you the last one? What? Brother. Where are you people coming from? <laughs> Not even people. You're just computers. Stop being pests. Any more here? Mercury, okay. Uh, there's HP, but I really need it. I can't go to the next sector with no energy. That would be silly. So let's, um... I don't know where this final build point is. I'm probably okay with just not having it, actually. Um, it means not dying. Good enough there. I'll tell you if that's a place we're supposed to have been. Or it's just world building? That's, they all go down, right? Yeah, I think we're okay with just missing that. Oh, hello. Oh my god. Help. That was a mistake to have left that section. Fill up and go. <laughs> Get some petrol. And leave. Right, and this system must be racking up quite a bill. Because <laughs> I keep draining all the power out of it. I was going to shut it down from the outside. I'm going to turn it off from the outside. What's wrong with you people? Mercury, let's go. Prepare for exit port activation. It's ready, just get on with it. I could have used that, but it's okay. Where am I going? And what about you, Mercury? I'm not instructed to follow. My command buffer is empty. Don't care about your buffer. Let's go. Buffer me. I don't understand how this is gonna help my dad. Unable to process your query. Well, guess we're leaving. Boom. Reminds me of a certain game. What does it remind me of? There was a game, there was like a strategy game where you could switch between um, like a grid view like this and a real view. Hi like this. there, my name is <laughs> Ted. What's yours? So, you work for FCON. Well, I guess we all do now. <laughs> I'm curious, oh, and do tell me if I'm being bothersome, but as I understand it, FCON deals mostly in Sounds information like the retrieval uh, and storage. from half -Land? Why the interest in our humble company? Surely it's not because of our gaming department. Say, have you heard? Some of our top people are missing. Yep, Mr. Bradley just up and disappeared. Strange thing, his son is also missing. Even our chief of security, Mr. Thorne, has managed to vanish into thin air. Truthfully, Jeez, I just want to know if I should be panicking or not. Well, it was nice talking to you. <laughs> Screw you, dude. We've conspired to look Russian. Pretty sure that wasn't me. I hope this works. You're just straight up in the. What's going on? It's just in the fans. <laughs> how are you? How? What? It's amazing. Well done. Do 
that. Look, you can just walk around the facility. What are you doing? That's not the exit. What are you doing, Bradley? Before we digitize any data rates, I want to make sure the correction algorithms fix the problem. Will do. <laughs> There's already violin, like string music in the back. A little tiptoe sound for me. Mr. Brad, he just solved a small problem for us. If he survives, our data rates can hunt him down. This will never work. Mr. Baza, please lead our distinguished guest to the digitizing pad. He's very distinguished because he's old. old. Old and distinguished is the same. You should be ecstatic, Mr. Bradley. You're about to taste the fruit of all your hard work. Savor it while you can. Om nom nom, savory fruit. <laughs> Clash his hands together. Pretends to rub. Tends to wash them for at least 20 minutes. There have been reports of an uncorrupted program still running in the internal partition. We gotta get that script out of there. We can't it's me. Do that. Access to the internal partition is protected by the remaining controller tower. A few blasts near the base of the tower should bring it down. None of us have that kind of armament. And to make matters worse, the controller is heavily guarded by Rector scripts. Rector scripts. God knows what they mean what by that. What is this place? This zoo, this prison. Bio grid connection reality. established. Where Where are you call it? I've been worried. Son, I'm okay. Where are you? What did they do to you? I'm here. I'm actually in the computer. Jed, this place is infested with horribly disfigured programs. I'd better hide. Node deactivated. Do that. I agree. Yeah, it needs to be we can figure subroutines. We need this. <laughs> we might as well put the lol on. Look how much space we've got. This is amazing. Um, this is going to be very important because there's a lot of viruses in this sector. Then we'll put this in. And this in. Well, have we got a gold? Yeah. We'll fill up that gap as well. Then, but that's going to be important, I think. Not important. This might be important. Uh, cool. Why not? And a Y amp is probably going to be helpful. Profiler might not be helpful. Over the top of. Why is Drunken Dibs' beat? No gold armor left. Just So we might as well put this in. Um, that's a pretty good. Loadout, to be honest with you. Thorn's server is severely riddled with infected programs and corrupted data. A single controller tower prevents the viral nature of his corruption from completely destroying the server, which would render it useless even to Thorn himself. Destroying the controller tower will bring down a protective barrier surrounding the internal partition, which directly leads to Thorn's chamber core. ICP's previous attempts to take down the tower have failed using insufficient power, however it's believed that multiple blasts from de-resing Rector scripts near the tower can damage it enough to take it offline. Which I think are the floaty ones that we have encountered in the past. But I'll save this here. I think I'm going to call this episode here. I will have um, cut some out, so it's going to be a little bit shorter than normal. But I'm, I'm getting kind of sleepy. It's not very late at night. <laughs> it's, it's half past three. But um, in the afternoon. But I, I, I want to. We're going to stream soon, as you may have heard. Um, you've probably been on the stream already by the time we've seen this. So. Um, thank you for watching this, thank you for watching that, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode, but until next time, when I do record some more, and at some point I will record some more Doom, uh, thank you for watching this, and I will see you next time. Ta-ta!